YouTube fails its creators, the struggle to gain remonetization. Guys, unfortunately, we have to remind you, you and as well as me that we have been fully demonetized from YouTube for almost a year. And um, this is harmful for our organization because it is an important source of revenue for us. Um, but it's particularly frustrating because we went through the processes of um, deleting hundreds of our videos to try to clean up our act because of course YouTube doesn't tell you specifically what you did wrong uh, when you are demonetized for I, it was like hate speech and intolerance. Again, you, you would think if it was as serious of an accusation as that, they would be more specific in telling you but I guess I don't care. So, <laughs> um, it's, uh, and then we reapplied and then when we got reapplied, we actually got hit with another strike that again was a incorrect strike that has since been overturned. And then we reapplied again in September and YouTube tells you when you reapply for the partnership program that they will review your application in a month, one month, and then get back to you. Well, like I said, we reapplied in September and we still have not heard anything. It's just radio silence. And um, this is a huge failure of this platform in taking care of the creators or people that actually make the platform what it is. After all, we are dr drawing your eyeballs on this, right? Your attention. Um, and uh, it's really, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, just how little they care about your own ability to continue to do what you do, which is drawing traffic to their platform. Because this does affect our ability to continue to do these things, to improve our, our what we do, um, to prove, pr improve the quality of the experience for our audience. And um, because we're not allowed to help get the... Um, uh, any, it, it, it disincentivizes, um, further creation and engagement with this platform because they're, they're not actually fulfilling what they say that they're going to do, which is actually get back to us about if we can maybe get some money out of all this work we put into things. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, it's not all bad because technically what led this this demonetization was the reason why so many people found us and supported us financially on patreon like the net has been be beneficial right like the net has been like we lost monetization on youtube but because of all the attention that this got all the attacks that it got we got so many patrons so many people by the way link to our patreon is in the description that it offset it the loss right so thank you for everybody who's supporting us on patreon well you guys it didn't are completely offset yeah. it it helped. No, it, it, it actually did offset it. Like we were, no, no, it offset it by more. Yeah, I'll give you the calculation. We dabbled our patrons. Yes. Well, and anyways. Anyways, yeah. I'll show you the, yeah. All right. But, and here's what YouTube responded. Oh, actually, um, not only that, we did. I'm not going to tell you, but the other monetization, I'm not going to tell you because some people might want to go after that as well. Right. But if you add the other thing, plus the Patreon, because of what have happened, then it offset it by a lot, but anyways, I'll tell you later. Well, um, anyways, well, okay. So yeah, but we still need, we still do need to, um, it would be a lot very good if we could get this monetization back. So this is YouTube on December 16th telling us, um, that if you haven't heard back from us, it's because your channel is being blah, 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 um, you know, is, be, is being put on, is for, is being reviewed for additional reviews and we'll be putting more effort resources into making the final decision. But this was in December 16th, right? But you actually reached out to them again after this, right? Yeah, I put the second uh, link in the document. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, actually the second link. So this was, Why is that not? No, you put two of the same links. No, wait, wait, hold on, did you? The second one is more. Yeah, because the second one, we got the Hindutva responding, right? 
Yes, I believe so. You might have seen a little bit of it in the replies of uh, this tweet too. Oh, uh, here, this one is this one is the more important. Yeah, okay. So you posted to uh, YouTube saying YouTube, uh, you want to read this because and then I want to. Yeah, I said at Team YouTube, why do you treat your creators like they are worthless? We reapplied for monetization in September and we're still in limbo. We have done everything, gotten rid of half of our library, ten years worth of work, and still nothing from you. Right. Yeah, because we had to delete because when you when they demonetize you, they don't tell you which videos are the problem. So we went through our library of videos and we had to just guess and we just anything that could have been slightly uh, an issue, we removed it. Like years worth of work, years worth of videos, and we just deleted them all. Right. Um, and now these are people you shouldn't be making money. <laughs> like these are a lot of Hindus for came in and they think like um they're telling us that we're like being hateful um or bigoted wait click on show more replies oh yeah oh here's youtube i appreciate all the info we have passed this info to our team for a closer review thank you for your patience in the meantime this was january 12th no but then click on uh, that tweet click on the reply from that tweet oh it's not showing no click on the tweet itself there we go Show more replies. Hmm. Wait, it's not showing up. Okay, well, yeah, I've I saw people tagging YouTube with our videos, trying to prove that we are Hindu phobic and hate Hindus and all this stuff. Like, look, hmm. YouTube, I can't believe that you allow these people on your platform. Blah 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 blah. Like, here are these videos. Look at them. I'm like, oh my god. One of them was literally just us joking, <laughs> like very obviously making a joke and being sarcastic. Um. So look yeah. at this, right? So it says your re your reapplication is under review. So we this is the second reapplication that we did. The first reapplication was denied and gave us a strike. Okay, it was denied and gave us a strike, and the strike we appealed the strike with the help um, with the help of Abdullah Samir, and they realized that the strike was wrong. Okay, the strike was wrong, and they were like, okay, they removed the strike. Uh, but then I'm like, okay, if the then the application should have shouldn't have been rejected. Then why did you reject their application? But no, then we had to reapply again, and this reapplication has been completely ignored. Right? So it's saying you reapplied on September twenty seventh, uh, twenty twenty one. We will review your channel and email you with a decision, typically within a month. This was September. This was in September. 2021 and they said that we will make a decision and re reply within a month and we haven't heard anything from them yet right um so guys if you could support us on patreon because this is a lot of revenue that we're not making back so if you can support us there uh, that would be fantastic and if you know any way for us to reach anybody on youtube to take a look at this um Please let us know or, or email if you me have any contact. at Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. Yes. Can you put that in the live chat so people mm -hmm. can see? Yeah. Oh, somebody's saying this is so sweet. <laughs> you highlighted this. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, hey, their Nordic is saying, I think you guys are really underrated. That made me oh, smile. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been almost four months. They said that we're going to get back to them in what? to get back to us in one month and it's been four months right so you know it's very it's also very frustrating because we watch like videos from i don't know like daniel Hegaju, <laughs> which is responsible and he's like wh who's advocating for a world where like gay people can be executed right openly openly is advocating like no shying away for, from it right um saying like this is like this is what he wants he he clearly states that on his youtube channel and his channel is fully monetized fully monetized right and we here on this channel we're like calling we're fighting against genocide we're bringing attention to crimes against muslims um you know crimes against atheists crimes against hindus crimes against jewish people we're advocating for human rights we're advocating for tolerance we're like fighting against you know hate you know um we're 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 supporting um lgbt but because and we get strikes we get demonetized and when we appeal we get ignored like 
what do we have to do to like this is this is there's no bigotry there's no hate here right there's no i don't understand like any anybody who checks our channel like unless you're like somebody like one of these hindus who thinks that talking about your gods um in an unfavorable way or in a sexy way <laughs> if um, you think that's hate speech right if, if you think like that or if he's you know but that's that's not even why we get these demonetizations or strikes for like we, we get these demonetizations because we're like we're talking about um, genocide or like terrorism or stuff like that and we're condemning it or we're bringing attention to some other people's um harmful opinions about it like and then youtube keeps thinking like we're saying it right like one of the strikes we got was about this pandemic um and we were highlighting some a catholic church's conspiracy theories and youtube think thought that we were saying it right and we got and we got a strike for that right and another time we were defending <laughs> we were defending um a muslim for not uh, you know against discrimination right and youtube was thinking yeah we, well take that's we one way to describe like, it, I guess. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I guess, I guess her rights being taken away, right? And for some re reason, YouTube thought that we were being hateful. We were being like, we were actually being, you know, our community was going after us for not being hateful enough. We were like being, some people, by some people's standards, too tolerant. And then YouTube got, gave us a strike for that for being hateful. Like, this is like, this was the less hate the least hateful video you could ever make because if anything people were accusing us of being ex like radical too radical with our tolerance that's how like that's how it was and that one got a strike for hate speech like it was it's such a joke and now the demonetization there's no way for us to tell why we've been demonetized like we have to delete videos to get our monetization back without ever youtube ever telling us which videos are the issues and then we did it. We deleted like hundreds, hundreds, like I think 500 videos at least. At right? least, minimum. At least 500 videos because we deleted 500 videos because we can't tell which videos are the problem, right? Um, and we reapply after like getting rid of all our hard work, things that we were like really hurt for us to delete because we care about these videos, right? And then we go, okay, like this should be safe. We deleted everything, right? And now we reapply and four months later, four months later, nothing imagine after all of this them uh, making you wait that the, uh, the response comes and it's rejected and they hand you a strike just for as well just in case just in case you don't feel like discouraged like this is how enough. We, yeah discouraged enough like it's so ridiculous like we i think like we're doing we're providing something spe special here like we are putting a lot of effort into providing something that other channels are not doing. Like we are, but not only our channel is not growing because of all these like things in the algorithm that makes our makes it difficult for us to get uh, for our channel to get suggested to other people. We can't even get monetized with the already uh, with the level of audience that we already have, right? But I don't want to. I don't want to like keep be be all negative, right? I I, I know Susanna doesn't. I know you don't want me to m mention as if like it's it's all solved, okay? But I do want to be grateful for our patrons, right? Oh, we can. Because, oh, we, we wouldn't be so, possible without our patrons. I'm not trying yeah. to act ungrateful. I just, yeah, yeah. So but, whether it offsets it or not, well, me and Susanna we disagree. I could. It does. What matters is that it's you know you guys you guys you guys are really keeping our keeping the channel alive. So that's. So thank you for that, All right? Um, anyways, so yes, please, in, this is Susanna's email. If you have any contacts, if you have any suggestion on how, our, how we can get our monetization back, please reach out to Susanna. If you know anybody at YouTube could, that could take a look at our channel, um, like this channel does deserve to be monetized, right? So please, please. Re do something talk to somebody tell us something put us in touch with somebody and if you can't do anything um any of that uh, please try to support us on patreon link in the description 
And if you can't do even that, then please just like the video <laughs> just so that it could get more visibility. All right. And subscribe, That's... stick around. And yes, yes. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.